Local sugar prices in Uganda have gone up. They are now at $2 per kilogram, up from less than a dollar in October last year. Manufacturers blame it on a general shortage of cane, the key raw material for sugar production. There is not enough cane for the capacities of factories that are in this central eastern region of Uganda. Initially we had uh, Rugazi, Skor and Kakira. Now over six factories have come in the same area and those factories have not developed additional farmers. Uganda consumes about 350,000 tons of sugar every year out of its total annual production of 500,000 tons. But most of the sugar mills are now running below capacity. There's been rising competition between factories and manufacturers are worried that the long dry spell is also likely to create more scarcity. The planting has been affected and uh, the growth rates has been retarded. This has caused already we are seeing a significant drop in the yields. We used to have a record yields of 100 or uh, 90 tons per hectare, but we are now recording only 64 tons per, per hectare. The current shortage of raw sugar is directly affecting other industries like baking houses and beverage companies that rely on sugar as a raw material. Producers are now calling on government to speed up legislation to regulate the sugar manufacturing business. We've asked for the government to put a zoning policy, an act, and uh, relocate industries which are in wrong zones. It's going on, but it's taking so long. So until it is sorted out, there will still be a problem with what you recover. But local manufacturers say Uganda is not alone. According to dealers, the cost of sugar in other regional countries like Kenya and Tanzania is even higher as prices rise on the global markets. The land available for sugarcane cultivation has not increased, yet about eight new additional farms are waiting with investment licenses. Manufacturers are worried that this is likely to affect the future production of sugar. Michael Baleke, CGTN, Ginger, Eastern Uganda.